In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Lightmatica for Minecraft Java 1.21.6. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up Sakura Ryoko GitHub. So, like this. And just enter that in, and here you find github.com with the user Sakura Ryoko. So just go ahead and click that, and it'll bring you to this page here. Now we need two things here. We need Lightmatica and Malalib from this GitHub page. So let's get started with Lightmatica. To get Lightmatica, just click on the blue link, and then it will bring you to this page. From there, just go ahead and go to the releases section here, and then you'll see that we have a release for 1.21.6. If we click this button, we'll have more releases for all the versions, but here we want this one here. So it is the 1.1.6 version, so just make sure to find one for it. It will be for Fabric, so just go ahead and click the .jar version of it. And once you do this, it just automatically just downloads the .jar from GitHub for you. This is Lightmatica. This is the mod itself. Now, you need a dependency. So to get the Malalib dependency, you want to go to Sakurayoko again. Then it will bring you to this page again. Then go to Manolib. Then go to releases if you want. And you'll have the older versions as well as the version that we want, which is 1.2.6. Go ahead and click the, from the assist. Just go to the Manolib fabric version of it with the dot jar. And it will just go ahead and get you the dependency. So here we have Manolib and Lightmatica. This is the two things you want. Now, you want more things, which is Fabric API and Fabric itself. So, to get these, you want to go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar, and you want to search up for Fabric Minecraft, like so. And here you'll find FabricMCR.net, just click on Fabric, and then you'll be on the Fabric homepage. So, from there, just go ahead and go to the blue download button, and then go to the blue download for Windows button here. And now you have Fabric Installer. So, you have the Lightmatica, Malalib, and Fabric Installer files, and you now need the Fabric API file. So, what you want to do is go to a new tab again. You want to go to your search bar, and you want to search up for ModWinf, like so. You enter, you'll find ModWinf.com, click on ModWinf, and then you'll be on the ModWinf homepage. So, from there, just go to Discover Content at the top of the website, and go down to Mods. Now, you'll find Fabric API here. If it doesn't show up here, just go ahead and just search up it here, Fabric API and it'll show up here. So just go ahead and click on Fabric API and then you'll have the Fabric API homepage on Modwinf. So from there, just go to the versions button and then go to the game versions button and click 1.12.6 and here you have the releases for 1.12.6 Fabric so just click the latest green download button. And now you have everything you need to get started. So from there, we just need to go ahead and wait for Fabric API to finish but these are all the files that you need to get started with my with Lightmatica. So what you want to do here is simply go ahead and minimize or close your web browser. I'll just close mine, and from there you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. So here, the first thing you want to do is double click the fabric installer, and it will show up with a little window like this. Here for the Minecraft version, just go ahead and make sure it's 1.0.6, and if it is, just do install. OK, and close. Now that you're done with this, you can just go ahead and delete the fabric installer. And now you only have the important files, the mods and dependencies. So what you want to do here is just go to the Minecraft launcher here. This is how you open up Minecraft Java. And with this, we want to add the three mods to the mods folder. OK, so here we have the Minecraft launcher opening up for us. And basically, here you want to have fabric loader 1.0.6. This is how you know it worked. And to continue is that you simply want to go to installations here on the top. Then you want to go ahead and hover over fabric loader and go to the folder icon. Once you're in the .micro folder here, you want to find the mods folder right here and then you want to double click it. Once you're here, just go ahead and go to downloads. Then you want to select the three files and copy them. Then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and then click paste. Now you have three mods in .micro mods. So from there, all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher again, then you want to go to play, make sure Fabric Loader 1.21.6 is selected, and click play. Uh, 
Okay. So once you have Minecraft here, you can go to a single player world for example. And if I do this, you'll be able to see that we have our Lightmatica active. So to do this, all you want to do is simply go ahead and click M. And this will bring you over to Lightmatica Manager. We can go ahead and add yourself some schematics like so. You can configure some settings of Lightmatica. You can go ahead and change the actual area that you want to edit, which is right here. You can change the different tools that you might be using and things like that. So yeah, but I did make a whole entire video on how to use Lightmatica, which is a bit longer. So if you want to go ahead and learn how to use Lightmatica to go ahead and create, copy and paste schematics, you can go ahead and go in the description where I'm going to have this video linked below. So yeah. But in today's video, I showed you how to download and install Lightmatica for Minecraft Java 1.21.6. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!